Hello and welcome to another episode. Such a beautiful day today, I thought I'd do this one outside. I have got a pine canvas, if you will, today that uh, a coworker brought me. It actually uh, used to be a crate. I'll show a picture of that in a moment. And today I'm just gonna have a little fun. I wanna try and do a little bit of a, oh, kind of a crazy sky using wood dye. And I'm gonna try something I've never done before. And so join me for my experiment if you like, and we'll see what happens. So the first thing I wanna do is just get some, some black in the sky. Not too exciting at the moment, but hopefully when I'm done, it will be. Later, this is gonna be an aggravation game board, so I'll be drilling some holes. Uh, but uh, anyways, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let this dry for a few minutes and take an orbital sander to it, and then I'll come back and add some more color. Get into some orange now. Yeah, a lot more orange than that. The beautiful thing about the wood dye is that you can just keep applying it. Wood stain, you can only apply so much and <clears throat> the wood reaches its saturation point. With the wood dye though, you can just keep adding it to make it darker and darker. All right. Okay, a little higher up in the sky, I'm gonna use some of my blue dye. And let's see what we can get going on here. All right, you know, that's, that's not too bad. Okay, I'm liking the colors, but I think I wanna ease up on the black here. So I'm just gonna take a little sandpaper, 220. Take some of that off. And just like that, we sand the devil out of it, like Bob Ross would say. Oh no, that was beat the devil out of it. Okay. Let's add some more color. There we go. Now we're getting some color. We're getting some life to this thing. And the beautiful thing about a wooden canvas, if you will, is that if you don't like it, well, just break out the almighty sander and zip it off. New canvas. Okay. I think I'll let that dry and take a fresh look at it. Oh yeah, that's getting pretty.
Maybe we've got some distant mountains in the background here. Get the excess off here. This is going to be cut off. So. There we go. And it gives the indication of some mountains far off in the distance. Blend that in a little bit. Tell you what. Yeah, a little bigger one there. Maybe it's a maybe it's a distant volcano. Since it's the and it's a smoke filled sky, the end of the dinosaurs. I don't know. Okay, I think this is getting close to wrapping up this step. I am just using my liner brush to sharpen up a few of these distant mountains here. Make them look maybe a little more volcano-y. Okay, I've got my board sealed. Now I will stencil on a few dinosaurs, but since that's boring, how about we just... Voila! We have, as Bob Ross would have said, happy little dinos.